Hi guys, it's Fran, back with another video of the week. All right, so this week I want to talk to you guys about intuition and hearing the voice of spirit and hearing the voice of your angels. I've had a lot of conversations in the last couple of weeks about people wanting to know, how do I know if what I'm hearing is real? Or how do I know what I'm hearing is not ego fed? Or how do I even identify what I'm hearing as the right spirit? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of tips today that's going to help you kind of begin the process of identifying who's talking to you, how they're talking to you, and if it is the correct spirit. The first thing you want to do is you need to spend time in the presence of the divine. For me, that is God. So you want to affirm and intend that you are attracting the right spirits, beings that come in the light and love. I don't deal with spirit guides often. I, I deal with angels. And not only do I deal with angels, but I deal with the Holy Spirit. So whenever I am going into meditation and I am wanting to hear the voice of spirit, I always say that I attract beings of light. I attract my angels. I attract my higher consciousness. I attract the Holy Spirit. So you want to affirm and attend what intend, excuse me, what you want to attract. You have to be careful because there's a lot of energies out here and there are a lot of different spirits. Some are not so good. So you want to make sure that you are protecting yourself with the white light before you do any meditation, before you do any calling in of anything, you want to make sure that you have protected yourself in the white light and that you have grounded. There are great meditations for that. I have a meditation on my site for grounding so that you can make sure that you know you are in a stable position to receive. Also, I always invite my angels in. I invite my angels in daily. I invite them in all the time. I talk to my angels all day long. So once you once you form a relationship and a kind of an alliance with your angels, then you are able to identify them. And we all have intuition. We all have that sixth sense. We were born with it. And we're all connected to the spirit of God. So really, it's just quieting your mind enough to hear what the spirit is telling you. It's quieting yourself and trusting your connection with the divine and knowing that a lot of information that we get, things that I get about people, things that I get about myself, well, things I get about people, um, things that I get when I'm in sessions, when I'm doing coaching, uh, there's no way that I would know. And I love that clarity because what happens is, is that at that point, people realize that they are connecting with the spirit of the divine. So what you have to do is you don't have to push. Spirit is a very clear channel. Spirit is not only a very clear channel, spirit is a very precise and accurate channel. It's not forceful. It's not rude. The spirit of God is intelligent. So if you happen to be seeking advice from someone and you're hearing tons of negative things and, and things that aren't setting right with your spirit, you need to make sure that you ask, do you come in the white light? Is this a correct spirit? Now, you don't have to ask that person that. But before you go into that meeting or while you're in that meeting, if something's not resonating with your spirit, then you ask, does this spirit come in the white light of God? And if it doesn't, immediately the course of what's going on between you and that person you're in front of will change because the light drives out the darkness. So you have to be careful. Make sure you're attracting the right spirits. And here's another thing that I was taught by my mom when I was really, really young, is that a lot of people, and sometimes I've done that, if you're not hearing what you want to hear, you go and you ask this person, you ask that person, you ask that person, and everybody's spirits are not in a line. Some people are vibrating here, some people are vibrating here, some people are vibrating here. So if you are dealing with one person and that person is not giving you what you need, then maybe you need to disconnect from that person and find someone else or just go within and listen for yourself. There are people like me that are put here to help, but really our job is just to help you connect to the spirit that is within you. All right. Have a great week, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.